Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and today we are going to be going through this week's Forzathon event called Mercury Rising which wants you to use any retro hot hatch vehicle of your choice. Uh, now this week's challenges are actually fairly easy but the first one's a bit lengthy uh, but first of all we're going to pick out a retro hot hatch to use. So obviously you want to filter into your cars and see what you have available. Now personally I wouldn't have thought the 2004 Honda Civic Type R would be retro. Uh, same for the 2002 RSX Type X but anyway it is what it is. Um, but Let's not distract from the point. Uh, the car that I used is the 1986 Ford Escort RS Turbo. Uh, and I have created a tune for it called Forzathon Easy. Now, just remember this car is a balm find, so most of you should have it anyway. Now, the first challenge here wants you to earn 25 ultimate speed skills. Uh, now, the place to do this is, as I always say, uh, on the motorway because it's got the longest stretches uh, of sort of straight and easy roads to get high speeds on. Now, an ultimate speed skill is when you're just cruising at over 200 mile an hour, basically. Uh, and luckily with this tune, uh, the Escort RS Turbo will easily sit at over 200. Uh, in fact, it will quite happily sit at about 210 to 215. Uh, so you'll actually quite easily rack up the 25 ultimate speed skills. But... It does take a little bit of time. Obviously, 25 is quite a lot. Uh, so it will take roughly between 5 and 10 minutes to complete. But if you're just flat out on the freeway, uh, it will be pretty damn easy, to be honest. It's not too difficult of a challenge. Like I said, it's just a bit more time consuming than most of them are. Uh, but luckily, it's a nice and easy one to start this week's Fours with them off with. Uh, and most retro hot hatches can be tuned uh, to sit at over 200 mile an hour quite nicely. Most of them will need an engine swap though, so just bear that in mind. Um, now the next challenge wants you to win three street scene events with your retro hot hatch. Now obviously I went back to filtering the map uh, just to show what street scene events we have. Even though I always go for the bath and gate one, um, so no surprises there. Now the best thing about this is you can have it on any difficulty you want because this is just a Forzathon event and it's not part of the festival playlist. Uh, so obviously you're going to be up against some stiff competition as you can see there. It's just battling out with a Pagani uh, Zonda R. So the competition's up there. So if you do want to decrease the difficulty, I wouldn't blame you to be honest. Um, it does make life a lot easier. And bear in mind you have to win three of these races. Um, so that can be a little bit annoying uh, if the competition's really, really good in the cars that they're in uh, but second challenge isn't too difficult uh, but will take a few minutes to complete there now the third and final challenge here just wants you to earn three stars in total from any speed zone in your retro hot hatch now obviously there are plenty of speed zones to choose from um, but the one that I always go for uh, is up here uh, and it's called forest green uh, and quite simply three stars on here is just getting 90 mile an hour through the speed zone uh, so it's actually really really easy to be honest as always whenever there's a speed zone challenge uh, I always go for this one because like I said the three star target is so low that it can be done in pretty much any car um, so this really didn't prove a challenge at all for the escort um, it was nice and quick and basically because of the way the challenge is worded you could get one star on one run and two stars on the next one uh, to total up to three stars and that will be perfectly fine but anyway guys i hope that you found this video enjoyable and i hope that it helped you out uh, apart from that i wish you all the best thank you very much for watching and take care